Hello, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages. Forgive the kind of amateur nature of the video, but I'm not a regular YouTuber, as you're well aware of, but I just thought I'd do a review of the Canon 200D, or as it's known in North America, the Rebel SL2, but this camera I've had for a week now and I can tell you from my experience it's been a wonderful camera and I'm very very pleased with it. It's overall a very much a pleasure to use, very <clears throat> responsive, very fast, very rugged in spite of its plastic construction. It's built like a tank, like it's very well made, the grip is better, the the uh, response is better, I find personally that it's faster at focusing and I'm sure they have improved the actual performance of it. Yes, it's a 24 megapixel over the 18 megapixel of the SL1 aka 100D but it's um, in every way a far superior camera. Make no mistake, the 100D was one of a very good SLR overall and it's done me wonderful service though I've had it only for six months but even though I even so I decided to upgrade I wanted one with the convenience of Wi-Fi and um but that was a bit of a pain to set up but let's not get ahead of myself anyway. Well the first thing is um the uh, flip out screen is a boon and as you can see here it just opens out so now I have it facing out but you can have it facing in just you know it acts as a protector like it's very cleverly done you have the Canon logo there just to uh, you know oh, this looks good you know it doesn't look half bad when it's closed but you can open it out like that. I find now I, when taking pictures, I can have it do it more discreetly, do my candid shots more discreetly, and do my, you know, and keep it in frame without having to contort down to the viewfinder, or peer into a fixed screen, and it's so much better that way. And the five shots per second and continuous shooting might not sound like an awful lot but believe you me it's a whole step up from four frames per second i find that the extra frame makes all the difference it feels faster snappier and more you know um it feels like you'll get more a better chance in getting the be the perfect shot well here it is anyway if i switch it on you can see um there's your, your usual controls, you have your shutter speed, your light meter, your all your white balance, all your ba your basic information there. Now the menus are way beyond the scope of this video. It, I'd be, that would be another video in and of itself, but I'll just go through it very quickly. You have all the, this is your main settings, the camera settings, all the exposure, red eye, blah, 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 all the... It's too much to delve into. I mean, yes, I use a lot of the features, but I've a lot to learn yet in terms of implementing them. But that being said, all oh, you've all the right protect images, rotate images, erase images, and you have the settings here, like the wireless communication settings. You have select folder. You have all this stuff here. It's like you've three or four pages per main menu there along the top of the screen and just below that you have pages there showing you the different sub menus and anyway that's that out of the way and here are your playback settings and um oh I better not show you too much of those there a lot of those are personal but um, here's the top of the camera anyway. You can see all there's a different layout to the SL1 or the 100D. The, now, something about the power switch I don't like. It's Yes, it's still clicky and all, but it just doesn't have that tactile feel like the old one. Though the uh, menu wheel there, you know, you heard the switch there. It's... Yeah, it clicks, but it just feels flimsier than the old one. 
but that's just few few criticisms few and far between you have the you have the mode we dial here which is very handy and it's a little more simplified because that's because they kind of merge them together here are all your manual or custom settings here and here you have a fully automatic mode it effectively turns the camera into a point and shoot camera there it is without the flash point and shoot without the flash you have a little more control with custom auto you have your scene settings and various other bits and pieces now i always use mine on manual i'm kind of throwing myself in the deep end there and here's the kit lens now this didn't come with this camera this is the kit lens from the 100d but there's no difference between this and the one that comes with i got the body only i just upgraded the body and it's a great camera overall and very happy with it and it's it's very easy to use and I've really got the hang of it. The features are more or less the same as the 100D, but yes, it's a huge step up like a file. It's a very worthwhile upgrade. And if any of you out there have a 100D and want to upgrade, it's well worth the upgrade. The, the higher resolution is a, is a boon and the flip out screen is a boon and the, the, um, the, uh, and also the the higher fps or frames per second even though one like i said one frame doesn't seem like much but when you're taking continuous shots out in the field you'll feel the difference it goes tick, 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 you know that just feels faster and last but not least the the build quality is second to none very good canon quality all the way I, cannot fault Canon I'd stick with Canon now and their mirrorless cameras are very good I have a friend who has one and he swears by it but anyway if you have any comments or anything any questions to ask leave any in the co the comment section below thank you and a very good have a good one